Someday we'll get paid for this. Hello, news fans. It's time for Scrapple News, and from high atop the Scrapple News Towers here in downtown Philadelphia, IA, it's me, AP Ticker. Great to be with you. Good to see me, huh? Tonight, Murdoch on the ropes, Bachman on the gay, texting while walking is now illegal in Philly. The forecast is hot as shit for the foreseeable future, and there's a new strain of drug-resistant gonorrhea running rampant. Ah! <sighs> Give me a moment. But the big story tonight is, and this, this is hard for me to say, <clears throat> I think I may be breaking up with Obama. My friends have been telling me to do this for a while now, but I just didn't listen. I seem to always be making excuses for his erratic behavior and how horribly he treats me. Like when he promised me health care and gave me watered down compromises instead. I blame the Republicans for poisoning the well so bad it became an effectual legislation. And when he promised he'd close Gitmo and stop the spying on Americans but didn't, I, I blame the Republicans. When he promised to protect whistleblowers saying they were imp an important part of the checks and balances that keeps this country great. But then he prosecuted more whistleblowers than all previous administrations combined. Still, I blamed the Republicans. A few weeks ago, to get those same Republicans back to the table to raise the country's debt ceiling, he actually proposed cuts to Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. He said this despite the fact that he knows how much I hate eating cat food. <clears throat> the final straw was last week when the feds ruled that marijuana has no accepted medical use and should remain classified as a highly dangerous drug like heroin. Despite the fact that in the last three years alone, cannabinoids have been found to help kill breast cancer cells, fight liver cancer, and even can help stave off the development of Alzheimer's disease and reduce the advance of Huntington's disease. To which I say, Obama, it's not me, it's you. Since 2008, you have done almost all the things that people who hate you want you to do, and they still hate you. And you've done almost none of the things the people who love you want you to do. What's that you say? You repeal, don't ask, don't tell? Oh, goody! Now gay people can travel to exotic countries, meet interesting people, and kill them, just like the other heterosexual, walking post-traumatic stress disorders waiting to happen. USA, USA, USA. <clears throat> <sighs> Who am I kidding? Of course I'm not gonna break up Obama, even if he does treat me like shit. I mean, deep down, kind of like it. <laughs> you know, dance with who brung you, I always say. Besides, what are my options? I'll tell you what my options are. A bunch of ass clowns. Tim Pawlenty, Mr. Cellophane, a mumbling shit who's afraid of his own shadow. Mitt Romney, the robot with great hair who wears special underwear. <laughs> or perhaps Michelle Bachman. The woman who rails against government spending while her husband takes taxpayer funds to help gay people deny who they are. A and by the way, physician heal thyself if you get my drift. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You're welcome. Could you tell I was in the Could you tell I was in the Oh, and I just, I'm going to see you on the top of my top. Oh, oh, that was okay. very nice. Oh, you're welcome. It was heartfelt because it is. Oh, you guys are great. You're welcome. We love you guys. <laughs> this is the guy giving gay people straight lessons? Really? Really? <laughs> I'm AP Ticker. And I want you to want me, Mr. President.